Welcome to EPG Patshala. Today we are going to deal with Abhinaya, a module prepared for the unit 1 Natya Shastra and Rasa for the course Classical Sanskrit Poetics. I am Dr. B. Vani, Associate Professor, Retired Principal, Sarojini Naidu Vanita Mahavidyalaya, Hyderabad. Bharata defines Abhinaya as Abhipurvasu Neidato Abhimukyartha Ishate Esmat Padarthan Niyati Tasmat Abhinayaha Smrutaha. This is the definition given by Bharata, which means Abhinaya. Abhi means towards Ni Nayati is to lead or guide, is the art of expression in Indian dramaturgy. It exactly means leading the audience towards the experience bhava of a sentiment rasa. Abhinaya is a one very important uh, thing to lead the spectator towards the rasa. Abhinaya is essentially a manifestation of an emotion, a vehicle of conveying the emotions to the spectator. Abhinaya portrays a mixed pleasures and pains of the three worlds when presented on the stage. Abhinaya mainly occurs in two varieties. Padartha Abhinaya, where the artist delineates each word with the gesture and expression. Padartha Abhinaya, where dancer acts out of entire stanza or a sentence. Padartha is only a single word is been enacted and Vakyartha is the whole sentence with a meaning is been enacted. These are the two varieties of the Abhinaya. There are two, in the same way there are two aspects in the Abhinaya. One is Lokadharmi, other is Nati Dharmi. Lokadharmi is proximity to the ways of the world. However, the person reacts in the world in pain or pleasure. In the same way, acting on the stage is the Lokadharmi. Nati Dharmi is the theoretical representation entirely dependent on Abhinaya, which is according to the stage, the time, performance and all enacting on the stage is called Natya Dharmi. And this Abhinaya is fourfold. First one is Angika Abhinaya, the expression with the physical gestures. Vachika Abhinaya, expression with the voice and speech is a verbal expression. Aharya Abhinaya is the expression of the makeup and costume. And Sattvika Abhinaya, expression with the emotions. Angika Abhinaya. Angika Abhinaya is, has three major parts. The movement of the Angika Abhinaya is the movement of the limbs, physical gesticulation. That is with the Angas and Pratyangas and Vupangas. Angas are six in number, Shiras, head, Hasta, hand, Vakshas, chest, Pashva, sides, Katigata, hips and Pada, foot. These are the, uh, and some consider Griva, neck is also as the seventh Anga, but these six are considered as the Angas of the body. Pratyangas, there are six in number, Skanda, shoulders, Bahu, arms, Prushta, back, Udara, stomach, Vuru, calves, Janga, shanks. These are the six Pratyangas which are important in the Abhinaya and some consider Manibhanda, uh, Kurpara and Janu are also as Pratyangas which are also important in the performance of the Angika Abhinaya. And Vupangas of the head. There are 12 Vupangas and the main parts of the Shiraha, the face. Drushti, Puta, Bhru, Taraka, Ganda, Darshana, Nasika, Griva, Athara, Chubuka, Asya, and Mukharaga, the color of the face. Hasta Abhinaya. Hasta Abhinayas are two types of the Hasta Abhinayas are been explained by Bharata in his Natya Shastra. In the Nrutya Abhinaya, Nrutya Abhinaya is the Abhinaya where Rasa, Bhava, sir also Abhinaya is been performed without the voice, without the language. They are 
24 Asamyutta Hastas executed with one hand and 13 Samyutta Hastas which are uh, executed with both hands together. These are the two Dhrutya Abhinaya Hastas and uh, along with this there are 13 Rutta Hasta Abhinayas which are ornate uh, hand gestures which do not uh, which are only the bodily physical uh, movements of the hands without any abhinaya or rasa bharata has also defined the hasta prachara the hand positions and hasta rechakas hand moving along with the arm movement and hasta karanas the turning of the turning movement of the hand pratyanga vidhana each prachyanga has five movements and they should synchronize with the movements of the foot, the shank and the thigh to express the intended action fully. This is called as chari. When all the prachyangas along with their foot, shank and thighs are moved, they are called as charis. These charis are, these charis that is a footwork is of two kinds. There are 16 bhoumi charis, the feet that are placed on the ground completely and 16 akashi charis the one foot on the um, one foot are both of them raised above the ground level bhoumi means bhoomi the earth ground and foot is placed on the ground it's called as bhoumi chari and the foot either one foot or the both if they are above the ground level if they are moving in the uh, above the ground level is called as Akashaki Charis. Mandala is a combination of footwork depending on the predominance of the form of Chari. Mandala is of two kinds, Akash 10 Akashagata Mandalas, 10 Bhumigata Mandalas. When the Chari is performed on the Bhumi, Bhumi they are called as Bhumigata Mandalas. If the footwork is done on the above the ground level they are called as akashagata mandalas these are the number of uh, charis together makes one mandala and sthanakas these are all pertaining to the angika abhinaya sthanakas static positions bharata explains sthanakas like six postures for men used in action in different different uh, situations like when he is uh, releasing the um, bow releasing the arrow from the bow how he should stand and if he's uh, carrying a weight how he should stand how the posture has to be there likewise there are six postures for men used in action in different situations and three stanakas for women are postures of women in action and in talking to others and six stanakas for postures for men and women each while reclining and karanas transitory postures karana is simultaneously correlated with the movements of hands and feet the major the minor and subsidiary limbs should move in accordance with the hand and feet and 108 nrutta karanas were given by bharata which is used in the tandava nrutya also but he says they are infinite in number it is not necessary that there are only this the 108 nutta karanas have to be employed in the dance performance according to the place where they are living the people who the according to the people who of the state country their man their mannerisms their behavior their movements on the body limbs etc they also can be incorporated in their uh, dance this is all pertaining to the angika abhinaya angika abhinaya is ma majorly the uh, bodily physical bodily movements and angahara angahara is also uh, angahara is a combination of the karanas group of karanas um, uh, make one angahara to give an integrated picture they should flow into one another smoothly to ren uh, render harmonized performance if one karana is explained and the people should not stay in the same karana for a long time they immediately they would they have to shift to the next uh, karana to the next karana uh, next karana like this likewise they have to uh, jump into from one karana to the other karana and these group of karanas are called as 
angaharas and the rechaka movements of the limbs rechaka is a movement of any limb from its position by rotating it or lifting it up or separate from it group of karanas into angaharas and is the process called as rechaka there are four kinds of pattern into the limbs pada rechakas kati rechakas hasta rechakas and griva rechakas rechaka acts as a filling of the blanks to produce a continuity because uh, from one position to other position the karana movement is called as angahara from the angahara continuity has to be there if a person goes into the static position the, uh, the uh, desired result desired rasa cannot be produced in the audience so uh, the movement should be uh, very continuous and very smoothly from one to other they have to shift and these are called as rechakas shifting from one to the other now from angika abhinaya abhinaya with the anga upanga pratyangas karanas hastas ruta hastas samyuta hastas asamyuta hastas chari mandala angahara and rechaka and finally sthanaka with all these the angika abhinaya is explained and now after come uh, knowing about angika abhinaya now let's move to the second uh, abhinaya which is called as vachika abhinaya out of the four uh, abhinayas angika abhinaya vachika abhinaya vachika abhinaya is a very important expression with the voice and speech because angika abhinaya aharya abhinaya satvika abhinaya these are all can be interpreted by the speech alone means angika abhinaya takes the support of vachika abhinaya aharya abhinaya also takes the vachika uh, vachika abhinaya and satvika abhinaya also takes the uh, help of vachika abhinaya in the vachika abhinaya is there it can uh, support all the other abhinayas if any lapses are there in the abhinayas angika or aharya or satvika vachika abhinaya can fulfill all the other three abhinayas in the perspective of the point of the author and the actor this if uh, any angika abhinaya is not been could not be shown that can be replaced with the uh, vachika abhinaya bharata treated the various branches of vachika abhinaya like language speech and voice vachika abhinaya through language vachika abhinaya through speech and vachika abhinaya through voice pertaining to language vachika abhinaya through language how it can be uh, enacted this is uh, seven varieties bhasha bheda language and its regional variation vachika abhinaya with the languages and its regional variation the regional variation is each region each country they have their own modulation of the voice their own vocabulary their own way of expression using the same thing in the uh, uh, drama in the enactment for that particular character this is a vachika abhinaya vyakarana when uh, the person is enacting vyakarana the grammar has to be taken kela and chandas prosody meter and lakshana poetic embellishments alankara figures of speech gunas merits doshas demerits all these things have to be taken care in the vachika abhinaya there are 10 gunas and 10 doshas and four alankaras and 32 lakshanas all these have to be incorporated in the vachika abhinaya uh, to make it a complete one pertaining to speech vachika abhinaya pertaining to the uh, speech there there are two varieties of uh, vachika abhinayas uh, sambuddhi vidhana and nama vidhana and sambuddhi vidhana is form of addressing like in the uh, presentation of the drama audience will be watching the drama people will not know audience will not know that who is who and all and there is a particular procedure 
a um, rule that some of the characters have to be addressed in the same way. Like a Brahmin character is there, he should be addressed as Arya. If a king character is there, he should be, he should be addressed as Maharaja only. If a son wants to address, uh, if a father wants to address his son, then he has to call him as Putra Vatsaka. And if a, a wife has to address her husband as Arya Putra only, not be the uh, name. Likewise, there are a particular uh, addressing system which is called as Sambuddhi Vidhana. That uh, comes under the Vachika Abhinaya only. And Nama Vidhana, naming of the characters. And like a um, Vidushaka character is there, a justice character is there. So mostly he should be named as Vasantaka only because he, uh, he gives all kinds of uh, joy, like a uh, howl of Vasanta Masa gives joy to the people. In the same way, this character, when he enters on the stage, he pro gives all the joy to the um, public audience. So, such kind of a naming has to be taken. Okay, that is also comes under the uh, that is also rendered as the Vachika Abhinaya. Vachika Abhinaya pertaining to voice is of uh, two types Kakuswara Vyanjana and uh, Virama. Kakuswara Vyanjana is a modulation of the voice which has six characteristics. First one is Swara, Swara, Stana, Varna, Kaku, Alankara, and Anga. Swara is a musical uh, note. The seven uh, musical fundamental musical notes, Sari, Gama, Pada, Ni. These are the swaras which have been uttered, pronounced from the person. And second is the sthana. Sthana is a point where from the voice originates. This is a, the, there are three places, three points where from the voice uh, generates. That is the Kanta, Vuraha, and shiras. These are the three places. Kanta is a neck, uras is a chest, and shiras is a head. These are the three places where from the voice it generates, voice starts. And we have to take a vachik in vachika abhinaya when he is pronouncing anything. Uh, depending on the scene, depending on the situation, depending on the dialogue, they have to see whether the voice is raising, coming, originating from the kanta or Gura chest and Shiras the head. And Varna, third, third one is Varna. Varna is of four varieties. Varna is a mode of intonation, intonation of the voice, which is Vudatta, Anudatta, Swarita and Kampita. Vudatta is a bold, bold type of intonation. Anudatta is a very normal one. Swarita is a little higher level and Kampita is a little shaky, shaking vibration in the voice. And the fifth one is Alankara. These are all called as Kakuswara Vyanjana because the voice when they are uttering any dialogue, everybody cannot utter this in the same way as uh, they are reading the text. According to the character which they are enacting, and the character is uh, when he is acting like Rama or Lakshmana or Bharata or Hanuman, he has to modulate his voice according to the character which he is enacting. That is why they all come under the Vachika Abhinaya. The fourth is Kaku. Kaku is of uh, two varieties. Kaku is the uh, variation uh, in uh, inflection. It has two varieties, Sakanksha Kaku and Nirakanksha Kaku. Sakanksha Kaku is the implied uh, in inflection. That is, if anything uh, a character wants to say, uh, say it in a uh, slight and mod modulated way, saying, uh, you, saying in a low tone, with a um, idea to convey the uh, meaning, differently uh, meaning and implied uh, meaning. A Nirakanksha Kaku is a intonation or enunciation as a complete citation of the lower pitch and ending in the higher pitch. This is a Nirakanksha Kaku. Fifth one is Alankara. Alankara is of the modes of uh, enunciation. This mode of enunciation is of uh, six kinds. Vucha is a high, 
ದೀಪ್ತ ಬ್ರೈಟ್ ಮಂದ್ರ ದ ಬೇಸ್ ನೀಚ ದ ಲೋ ಧೃತ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿಲಂಬಿತ ಡೈಲೇಟೆಡ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ವೆರೈಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಲಂಕಾರಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೀಚ್ ಉಚ್ಚ ದೀಪ್ತ ಮಂದ್ರ ನೀಚ ಧೃತ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿಲಂಬಿತ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಂಗಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಂಗಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಅಂಗಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮೋಡ್ ಆಫ್ ರೆಂಡರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಡೈಲಾಗ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಅಂಗಸ್ ರೆಂಡರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಡೈಲಾಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ವೆರೈಟೀಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ವೇಸ್ ಟು ರೆಂಡರ್ ದ ಡೈಲಾಗ್ ವಿಚ್ಛೇದ ಎಸ್ ಅ ಪಂಕ್ಚುಯೇಷನ್ ಪಂಕ್ಚುಯೇಟೆಡ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಿಚ್ಛೇದ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಡೈಲಾಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ದ ಡೈಲಾಗ್ ಅರ್ಪಣ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಒನ್ ವಿಸರ್ಗ ವಿತ್ ಡಿಸಿಂಟ್ರ ವಿತ್ ಡಿಸಿಂಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಡಿಸಿಂಟರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅನುಬದ್ಧ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಷನ್ ದಿಲ್ ದೀಪನ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಬ್ರಿಲಿಯಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಸನ್ನ ದ ಫ್ಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ವೆರೈಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಂಗಸ್ ವೇರ್ ದ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಮೋಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ರೆಂಡರ್ಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ವಿರಾಮ ವಿರಾಮ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಪಾಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾಂಪ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಚೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಒನ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಟು ಅದರ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಎಸ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಸಾನ್ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಎಸ್ ಅ ಚಂದಸ್ ಒನ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಟು ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಪೊಲಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಪ್ಯಾಸೇಜಸ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಒನ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಡ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಟು ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ವಿರಾಮ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ತ್ರೀ ವೆರೈಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಚಿಕಾಭಿನಯ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಥ್ರೂ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಸ್ಪೀಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿಸ್ ದ ವಾಚಿಕಾಭಿನಯ ಈಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ರೆಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕಾಂ ಪೊಯಿಟಿಕ್ ಕಾಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಆಂಗಿಕಾಭಿನಯ ವಾಚಿಕಾಭಿನಯ ನೌ ವಿಲ್ ಮೂವ್ ಟು ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಆಹಾರ್ಯಾಭಿನಯ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಮೇಕಪ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ಯೂಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ರೆಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಪುಸ್ತ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಹೌ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಬಿ ಗಿಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಬಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ನೀಡೆಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ಯಾಲೆಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಚೇರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಅದರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ಸಿಚುವೇಷನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ಸೀನ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಅರೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಂಗರಚನ ಅಂಗರಚನ ಈಸ್ ಮೇಕಪ್ ಆಫ್ ದೇ ಮೇಕಪ್ ದಿ ಫೇಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಾಡಿ ವಿತ್ ಗ್ರೀಸ್ ಪೇಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಭರತ ವೆರಿ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ಲಿ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ದ ಮೇಕಪ್ ಕಪ್ ಎಕ್ವಿಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಮೇಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಇಂಗ್ರೀಡಿಯಂಟ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಮೇಡ್ ಟು ಪುಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಆಕ್ಟರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಡಸಂಟ್ ಹಾರ್ಮ್ ಹಿಮ್ ವಿಚ್ ಡಸಂಟ್ ಹಾರ್ಮ್ ವಿಚ್ ಡಸಂಟ್ ಗಿವ್ ಎನಿ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಕಿನ್ ಡಿಸೀಸಸ್ ಟು ಹಿಮ್ ದ ಪೇಂಟ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಮೇಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ವೇ ಅಲಂಕಾರ ಡೆಕೊರೇಷನ್ ದ ಆಹಾರ ಅಭಿನಯ ಅಲಂಕಾರ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಟೆಲ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ವೆದರ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಇಸ್ ಆನ್ ಕ್ವೀನ್ ಆರ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಕೇರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಟೇಕನ್ ಟು ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ದ ಆರ್ನಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಡ್ರೆಸ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ ಡೆಕೊರೇಷನ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಟೇಕನ್ ಕೇರ್ ದ ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಜುವೆಲ್ಸ್ ಜಮ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಟೇಕ
creates a certain kind of a, 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 a erosis a sattvic bhava in the uh, spectator if a vidushaka character is there the way he dresses the the dresses the way he wears the ornaments the way he puts the makeup on his uh, face that itself creates uh, has, uh, that itself produces hasya rasa in the hasya in the hasa in the uh, spectators mind so ahari abhinaya is very one of the very important abhinaya in the presentation of the drama and satvika abhinaya finally satvika abhinaya satvika abhinaya is a expression through the responsive emotions this depends on sattva which is a state of mind sattvam nama manaha prabhavam though it is not visible but made as perceptible with the appropriate movements of the body satvik abhinaya is uh, generates through the uh, in the heart but how to express it because the uh, angika abhinaya can be expressed through the uh, body limbs body uh, physical movements physical gestures vachika abhinaya through the words uh, through the speech through the language through the voice intonations everything that can be expressed aharya abhinaya is also an external one but satvika abhinaya is an intrinsic one it is an inside one but it has to be brought in out the actor who is enacting may whatever the pains and pleasures he has and he should uh, depict in a such a way that the audience also the sahrudaya the synth- sympathetic audience also should get the same kind of a bhava in his heart the uh, an acting actor may have that feeling may not have the feeling at the same time on that uh, particular character which he is enacting but he uh, through practice he should show such kind of an bhavas externally so that the sympathetic audience can receive it and pro- thereby the pro- uh, rasa will be produced there are three kinds of uh, the alankaras graces gatraja alankara the physical uh, alankaras which are accompanied by eight satvika bhavas swabhavaja alankaras natural which are 10 in number and ayatraja involuntary which are seven pertaining to women and six pertaining to men these are the alankaras of satvika abhinaya satvika abhinaya is a basis of emotion it is dependent on angika vachika aided by aharya to reach the pinnacle of the performance because the satvika satvika abhinaya is a emotional part this has to be brought out like when a person is angry or when a person is happy the way he shows outwardly when he is angry eyes become red and uh, body starts shaking and when uh, he is a um, happy mood the lips will uh, prolong these kind of a things they have to show and looking at that uh, those kind of uh, abhinayas sympathetic audience sahrudaya also feels the same state and feels the uh, in involuntarily he becomes one he identifies himself with the actor who is enacting thereby the rasa will be produced bharata states that abhinaya predominated with the sat- this satvika bhava is a superior performance because it just passes from the from the heart of the actor to the heart of the audience other things other aharya abhinaya or vachika abhinaya or the angika abhinaya they only support raising the satvika bhava from in the audience the satvika bhava raised in the heart of the is, uh, actor get, enters into the heart of the audience that's that is why this performance satvika abhinaya performance is considered as the superior performance ba angika abhinaya vachika abhinaya are the backbones of the body and abhinaya uh, backbones of the body of the abhinaya purusha and aharya is it, its limb, limbs this is what they consider angika and vachika abhinaya are the bo- uh, backbones of the abhinaya purusha and aharya is 
his limbs and sattvika abhinaya is his soul the soul of the character and actor and the soul of the audience they will unite together by thereby the rasa will be produced now let us summarize the contents which we have learned through this module we have learned about the abhinaya which is of four varieties angika vachika aharya and sattvika abhinaya which are a very important in the performance of the drama uh, angika abhinaya with all its uh, varieties uh, sattvika uh, vachika abhinaya along with its varieties uh, aharya abhinaya and uh, sattvika abhinaya and here the angika abhinaya is a physical gesture physical uh, movement expression through the physical body is uh, bharata has taken um, uh, taken uh, importance to each and every anga like uh, eyes eyelids how they have to move in particular emotion particular state of a condition is been uh, explained in the natya shastra angika abhinaya with the, from the from the top of the body to the toe of the body every part of the body how it has to move in the other uh, stage that has been explained in the angika abhinaya and vachika abhinaya three varieties of vachika abhinayas are been explained the language the uh, priority is for the language and whatever the character is and been enacted then that character if he comes from different different places what kind of a slang what kind of a modulation he has the same thing has to be incorporated in the vachika abhinaya aharya abhinaya is though uh, it, some people like vipradasa he feels that aharya abhinaya is mainly important uh, abhinaya amongst all the other abhinayas because that itself when the person comes onto the stage rama when he comes in the stage comes onto the stage with the uh, with his attire audience will know the story which they are going to enact that's why he feels that this is very very important one but aharya abhinaya uh, more than aharya abhinaya uh, angika abhinaya vachika abhinaya sattvika abhinaya is very very subtle one because it is such a subtle one it brings out the inner state of a person some of the um, states like love has anger or uh, disgust for all the eight rasas there are eight kind of uh, sthayi bhavas are there which are very very which lay in the heart of a uh, ordinary person uh, or a spectator in a dormant stage kindling those kind of sattvika bhavas is done by the sattvika abhinaya that means whatever the uh, internal intrinsic uh, feelings are there emotions are there that will be brought out through the sattvika abhinaya that is why bharata considers that the drama which is performed with the sattvika abhinaya is the supreme uh, uh, supreme performance and angika for angika uh, abhinaya where the limbs are limb movements are there that is supported with the vachika abhinaya vachika abhinaya is supported with uh, aharya abhinaya and finally the major main abhinaya is the sattvika abhinaya this is how the drama has to have all the four abhinayas when they are four together then it reaches to the it brings to the brings the highest goal of a uh, actor that is the highest goal highest achievement is nothing but evoking the rasas in the audience heart thank thank you for listening uh, those who are very much interested in knowing the abhinaya can go through Na bharata's natya shastra and nandike shastra abhinaya darpana nrutta uh, ratnavali of uh, jayapa senapati and uh, sangeeta ratna sangeeta chandra of uh, vipradasa ruta ratnavali of jayapa senapati uh, uh, belongs to uh, varanga kakatiya period the ramapa temple which has been constructed exactly taking all the dance uh, poses from ruta ratnavali has been incorporated in the ramapa uh, temple these are the main works which one can uh, refer to to know the details about the abhinaya